Hi guys, Sam from Manfred's Makes. So earlier in the week, I showed you a yarn haul that I got from The Range, which is exclusive to the UK. And within that yarn haul, you, show, you saw me show you this book. So I thought we would take a minute and have a closer look. Before we dive into the book though, I would like to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming over and joining my Yarny family. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you stick around and you follow me along the way. Um, and to all my regular returners, hi again. Thank you so much for coming in. I love it when you pop round and if only in real life, you could pop round and we could do some crochet over a cup of tea. Maybe one day, who knows? So, yes, let's have a look at the book. So, like I said, I got this in the range and it is Quick and Easy Crochet, 100 Little Crochet Projects to Make and it's by Search Press Studio. And I don't know um, about you, but if I'm doing lots of more intensive, larger projects, sometimes I need to put them down for a day or two just do little mini projects and I thought that this book would be perfect for that because they all look like quick and easy makes as the book suggests. So let's have a look together and see what we can find and let's see if anything takes my fancy. So when you open it there are lots of lovely photos of what sorts of projects are going to be included. Um... The photographs in this book are wonderful. And before you get into it, it shows you every single thing that's inside in these lovely little thumbnail photos. So there's those. And those. And those. There we go. Oh, and another one. So you get an overview before you begin of what sorts of patterns you can find inside. There's an introduction and it tells you um, that this book has both US and UK terminology, which is great because even though I'm in the UK, I prefer US terminology. And they've basically said that it's written in US, but they will put the UK equivalent in brackets in the pattern itself. It gives you some information on the yarn, gauge, what crochet hooks and other tools and materials you might need, what the mattress stitch is, um, instructions of how to block. There's even um, picture instructions of how to make a pom-pom. And also here, they give you the abbreviation conversions between US and UK. It also gives you a little legend here that shows you what these symbols mean on a chart if a chart is provided. So that's super handy. Um, and then there is a walkthrough of the useful stitches um, with both written and picture instructions. So it covers all bases. And then we get started on the projects. And the first one is this lovely Olivia purse. I think that is super pretty. Lovely shades of purple, quite snazzy. And then you also have things like the classic traditional granny square. And funnily enough, I don't think I've ever made a granny square project. How surprising. And then you've got a cool classic beanie. It's quite pretty. Um, and with the beanie, it does give you a chart, which is really good. Oh, this is a bit Christmassy. Pine cones hang on your Christmas tree or for some winter decoration. Quite like those. And then there's this flower called the Pink Cosmos. So maybe a little applique or an additional detail to a larger project. And then there's a crochet teddy bear. He's quite cute. And then, oh, that's a different picture of him. More of a close up side on view. And then you've got some heart coasters. They're quite cute. I can imagine them being in a nice little country cottage. And then you've got the clematis. 
which is that one there. And they've obviously joined a few together and made a table runner or a placemat. That's quite funky and colourful, quite like that. And then you have got a watermelon. I like that one. And it looks like they've put a zip along the edge to turn it into a purse. So that's super lovely. Poppies and daisies. So you could maybe do a mixture in all sorts of wonderful colours and make a scarf or a blanket or whatever you would like out of those. And then there's the Sailor Girl beanie. That one's quite, it's quite simple, but it has like a real pop. Quite like that one. And then there's another Christmas item, which is the festive wreath. Some more winter or Christmas decor. And then we have Gazania, which is the flower. And as you can see, they've attached it to a lovely bag there. I think that bag is knitted. And then we've got a different take on the bear. This is the sweet angel bear. How cute is she? Would make a lovely gift for a little one. Heart string, just to hang up and snazzy up your home. Quite pretty. There's the lily. It's quite nice. Oh, look at this one. This is the Aria purse. How elegant is that? I quite like that. And then you've got square dance. So this pattern, it gives you the instructions to make one square, but then they also give you instructions on how to make this vase co cover by attaching three in a row. Sew them in a strip and wrap around a vase. So that's quite cute. And then you've got a glimmering snowflake. Again, some lovely winter decoration. You've got the Tudor Rose, which they've attached to this pillow decoration. It's quite nice. And then this one is earrings and pendants. I quite like those. I might even be tempted to make a set of those. And you've got the Primrose. And of course, all of these patterns, you can make in whatever colours you wish to suit your colour scheme or what you're decorating. This is the Freya purse. I love that button in the middle. Isn't that super chic? I love that. And they've actually made this out of lace weight. So that's super dainty. And then you've got the daffodil square. So different adaptation to a granny, I think. Then you've got the fibre fun hat. And that one looks a bit furry. So that'll be a good winter hat. Christmas stocking. I think that's more for decoration than to actually stuff and fill for a little one. That's just a mini one there. And what else have we got? We've got the hibiscus. lovely lovely and then we've got the bear again but it's katie the wedding bear <laughs> how cute is she would make a lovely gift for a flower girl or a bridesmaid or even the bride herself as a keepsake heart brooch jazz up a nice little blouse there um rose that's quite nice then you've got the Tate purse. Nice autumnal colours used there, but obviously you can use whatever colours you wish. Then you've got Cappuccino Lace Square and they've turned it into a pillow or a cushion just by joining several together. And then you've got the Pretty in Pink beanie. Now I like this one because I love pink. I'll try not to show you too much of the pattern. There we go. They do like some of the more fuzzy, mohairy looking yarns in here. Then you've got Rudolph the Reindeer. He's cute. Fox gloves. 
And there we go. Then you've got Andrew, the bridegroom bear. So that goes with the wedding bear. That's cute. Snowflakes, which they've used as gift tags on gifts, which is a cute little idea. Narcissus. Oh, a cherry purse. Quite like that one. That one's funky. Hmm. Just trying to see if they use a zip or anything on this one. Snap fastener. It's got a snap fastener. There we go. Scalloped circle. It's quite pretty. Then you've got the hippie chic beanie. That's got some filet crochet in that one. It's cute. I don't wear hats normally. They don't suit me. Then you've got baby penguin. Oh, look how adorable he is. It's cute. And then you've got freesias. Then you've got Jeffrey the dancing bear. <laughs> He looks like a fun character. And then you've got the lavender heart. Now that's super cute. I could imagine that being stuffed with some potpourri as a little scented heart for your wardrobe. Himalayan poppy. And they've stuck that onto a desk organiser, which is a cute, funky idea. Then you've got the Lottie purse. Quite like that. And you've got the Catherine wheel square. That's so good. Lady Grey beanie. Cool snowman. <laughs> Daisy chain. And they've actually incorporated that into some jewellery to wear. It's quite cute. Sparkles the fairy bear. That's cute. Heart bookmark. It's rather handy dandy. I like that one. Sunflower. Now doesn't that just pop out at you? Bobbles purse. I'm not sure if I like that one. Can't like every pattern. Circle in a square. So with all these squares, maybe you could do a mix and a match, make a larger project. You've got the Colour Clash beanie, oranges and purples in that one. And more of a slouchy type. Christmas cracker. Could use them to decorate your Christmas table. African violets, they're cute. And then you've got Mazzy, the keep fit bear. <laughs> Look at her getting ready to exercise. <laughs> Chunky heart pillow. Maybe for a little girl's bedroom. Crocus. And that's a hexagon. I don't think I've done a project with hexagons. Then you've got the Evie purse. That's quite elegant and looking nice. Go on a night out with that one. Floral ring, and they've turned it into a pin cushion. It's quite a cute idea. Then you've got the flirty flowers hat. There we go. And then we've got the wishing star. Another winter or Christmas decoration. Passion flower. Now this one's interesting. They've put it on a hat. I like that one. And then you've got Belinda the butterfly bear. She's got a little butterfly in her hand there. She's super cute. Valentine. Make your own Valentine's card. And then we've got Borage. 
apple charm purse. So that's a mini purse for your coins just to clip onto your jeans. That's a super nifty idea and I bet a lot of teachers would like that as well. Uh, circle and sh shell square. There we go. Light and lacy hat. Got some super pretty models in this book as well. Christmas bell. That's cute. Then you've got Anthony the garden bear. So if you know any keen gardeners out there, might be a pattern for you to make for them. Then you've got the Ava purse. Pretty cool looking. They're using it as a makeup bag. Pinwheel circle. Snowy fridge magnet. And a lot of these really won't take an awful lot of time either. This is the carnation. But I love what they've done on the other page. And I don't quite know how to show you without giving away the pattern. But they've turned the carnation and put it onto a ring base. So they've got a ring. And I thought that was super cute and lovely. Would never have thought to do that myself. And then you've got Roz the Artist Bear. He's cute. And then Myrtle Purse. I've obviously used the line in because it's quite an open and lacy design. And then we've got the Dog Rose Triangle. Again, never made a triangle. So that might be fun to do. The Filet Fun Beanie. That one's cute. Quite like that one. And Christmas pudding. And then there's scabious or scabious. Might be handy for someone going to prom. Then you've got Bernie, the Christmas elf bear. Got a bear for almost every occasion in this book. It's wonderful. And then you've got the Lucy purse. Now this does look gorgeous, but it's that mohair, fuzzy, lacy yarn, which I've never worked with. Might give it a go though. It's nice. Then you've got the Pico hexagon. That's cute. I like that one. That would be good in cotton, I think. And they've actually used cotton in the pattern. Then you've got the Shades of Grey hat. Cute. And then a tabletop Christmas tree. It's quite nice. And then the orange blossom flower. And Mary the party bear. Well, isn't she fancy and all dolled up? Love her little headband with the fluff. <laughs> and then you've got the Isabel purse. That one's cute. I like that one. And it's just the flower that's the fuzzy. The rest is just... Aaron yarn. Autumn square. And Street Smart Beanie. I like the colours in this one. Very nice, very nice. And then you've got the Poinsettia Gift Topper. Just as a lovely embellishment to any gifts or parcels you'll send at Christmas. So yes, that was a real quick flick through a hundred little projects, quick and easy crochet projects to make. There are a few that I would like to do. 
there are some that I probably won't do, and this is just me being honest, but for £6.99, I didn't think that was a bad deal. And also, even if I'm not going to use the little bits and pieces from it, it does give you some nice, quick, easy gift ideas. I know my children, when they leave um, a class at the end of the school year or they enter into a new class, sometimes they do ask to make something for each child um, before they leave or something for their teacher to say thank you or to say hello to a new teacher if they're getting a new teacher that year. So maybe something like these bookmarks or um, some of the coasters would be nice, quick, easy makes for me to give because my children are actually in classes of between 25 and 30. So yes, I would need them to be quick and easy to do that amount. So I'm sorry that it was a bit of a quick flick, but um, I just wanted to go through it with you a little bit, um, maybe inspire you to get some ideas. Um, maybe you've never made a fridge magnet before. Maybe you've never thought to use some of your crochet appliques in some of the ways they have in this book. I love the idea of using them as gift tags. I love the idea of using them to stick onto some ribbon and tying up your gift. Um, I love the fact that there are so many different types of squares that you could really do a mix and match and create a whole new project of your own. Um, lots of purses and things like that. Never made, you know, these types of purses, but I'm willing to give everything a go. Um, and yes, it would be something easy to grab in between my bigger, more intensive projects if I didn't feel like I needed something laborious, if I just needed, you know, a quick a quick make and ultimate satisfaction and success that I had completed something. Um, and yeah, quick makes for a friend or somebody that needs a bit of cheering up sometimes and it doesn't take you a week to do it. You can do it maybe in your lunch hour or, um, you know, of an evening and when you see them the next day, you can pass it over. So yes, I thought that was quite nice and cheerful to look through. Some really nice, inspiring ideas and I hope you enjoyed looking at the book with me. Um, I'm hoping you're having a lovely weekend um, here in my part of the UK. It's supposed to be lovely and sunny all weekend, so we are hoping to get out and about a little bit. Um, we did have plans to celebrate my birthday this weekend because my birthday is on Tuesday. Um, but unfortunately, our plans have had to be cancelled because we were going to go and see a movie, but the movie has been delayed being released in the cinema. So I can't go and see it if it's not there to go and see. So I don't know whether we'll do something instead or whether we will just delay it until the film comes out next month. Um, but that's fine. I have lots of lovely squishy yarn to play with, which I'm more than happy to do birthday or no birthday. And um, yeah, I have a few exciting things coming up next week. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Keep tuning in. You never know what you're going to find on my channel. And I hope that you enjoy what you do watch. Please do share my name out. Let your friends know about me. Um, I'm always happy to have new members come on board and get to know them a little bit better. Um, and no doubt you will see me around the YouTube streets, whether I pop up on panel or whether I'm down in chat, I am around. If any of you ever feel like you need to reach out and you need someone to talk to, please do feel free to send me an email. Um, I do check my emails fairly regularly. I have had a couple of lovely emails this week um, and it is nice to make contact with some of you. Um, yes, and I do have some plans up my sleeve for next week. So until then, enjoy your weekend, have some lovely crafting time, stay safe, be kind, and then I will see you in the next one. I do love you all and I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Love you. Bye.